Hi, my name is John Clarkson. I'm a technical writer with the Link Product Group. And in this video, I'll show you how easily you can use the Unified Communications Managed API or UCMA to send an IM message. What I'll demonstrate here is the steps to create your first UCMA application. And by the way, start an IM conversation and respond programmatically depending on the IM text that's received. And we'll start by using Visual Studio 2010 to create a console application. I'm going to call it Video. And a couple of components I need to add. The first one is a very helpful code library, which you ought to take a look at, um, which is included with the Quick Start sample application. So I need to find the uh, UCM SDK here on the disk and drill down into the Quick Start samples and the common folder inside Quick Starts to find this file. There's common and it's the UCMA sample helper.cs file. It's got a lot of very valuable code in it and will allow us to create this application with very little code ourselves. Um, the other thing I need to add is a config file and I'm going to grab one that's empty and add it to the project. And We'll take a look at it just to get an idea of what's contained in that config file, what kind of information you need to provide. You can see it asks for server FQDNs, uh, user domain, username, user URI, things like that. So I'll go ahead and delete this one now and, and substitute for it one that's been filled out with all the information I need for uh, the domain that we're running this project on. It's in a different quick start sample, basic call handling. This is the one that's already filled out, so I'll add it back to the project. And then we need to add some project references. The first one is to the basic UCMA DLL, or Microsoft.RTC, excuse me, Microsoft.RTC.Collaboration, which is in the core bin folder here. And then we need to add a reference to system.configuration, which, which is available on the .NET tab. As soon as I can get it to sort, we'll go find it. There we go. System.configuration. It's here somewhere. There it is. And very last thing, I'm going to save our work here. We need to change the target framework from the default what you see here is .NET Framework 4. It needs to be .NET, work, excuse me, .NET Framework 3.5. And after we do that, we're required to close and reopen the project, which I'll do. There, we're reopened now, and we can start adding code. And all the code I need, which isn't very much, is in this notepad file, so I can just copy-paste. I'll start off with some using statements uh, to point to some of the basic UCMA namespaces and also point to that sample helper file and point to system.threading. Going to add some declarations to the top of the program class. Just adding a couple strings for the message, uh, an instant messaging call object. Instant messaging flow object, user endpoint, the sample helper class, and the auto reset class, which we use for thread management. And now I need to add a custom method called run, which will contain most of our code. We'll also be adding a couple of callback methods and some event handlers, but the bulk of the code will be right in here. Go ahead and grab the first couple statements from my notepad file. Okay, I'm going to create a sample helper object, uh, create a user endpoint, create a conversation settings object, and in this case we're adding a subject. You can see the subject property there. We're going to create a conversation object 
and create an instant messaging call object. And I need to add a uh, event handler for the flow instant messaging flow configuration event. There's the event handler. Now we need to add three more statements to our run method. There we go. And we've got the target URI, which is empty for the moment, the begin establish method, which establishes the endpoint, the auto reset wait one method, which blocks the current thread. And we need to add a couple of statements to the main method in order to launch our run method. And in the event here I need to add some code to get the flow event or the flow instant messaging flow object. I'm going to get it from the event args class. You can see here it's the flow property off of the event args object. And I'm going to add two more event handlers. State changed. And message received. There it is. And in the state changed event, I'm going to add an if statement that will send our IM message as soon as the uh, channel is opened up. I'll paste that in there. And in the message received event, we'll add some uh, selection logic that looks at the message text. So basically I'm looking at three conditions. One is um, there's a sort of success phrase which is using a link. If I send that text it'll signal back with success hello. There's a, if I send a buy it will shut the platform down and if we send anything else it just will echo that text. And then we need to add two callback methods. You can see the highlighted code here that's complaining about those callbacks being missing. And once this code is added, we're done. It's not a lot of code here. So I'll go ahead and save and build. I guess there are, what, 20 lines of code? Something like that. And get things out of the way so we can launch this program. And I just realized that I forgot to get the address that we're sending our email to. So I need to dig around in Lang here and find it. Tools options, copy this, very carefully blur it, and paste that value into uh, yeah, target URI. And I need to edit it because I need to indicate the address that we're sending to, which is a different address, and I need to add a SIP prefix to this address won't work without a SIP prefix. Now we can go at 8F5, uh, enter our password, go to the other computer. See here's the message coming in. It's a sunny day. And I'll say no it isn't. It's awfully cloudy outside right now. And that will echo because that's neither a buy nor a success message. And here we'll send the success text and take a look at the other computer and you'll see that it responds with success, hello. We'll go back and type in buy, 
which will shut the program down. You see it says we're shutting down and the platform is now shut down. So not a lot of code to set up the platform and send IM text.